Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15 says let us offer continually offer a sacrifice of praise Bible says praise is a sacrifice let us offer praise in the presence of God continually is a sacrifice that is a fruit of the lips that confess his name hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus so let us continuously offering thanksgiving praise on behalf of the blessing that we have received and yet to receive there are many people who are online having fear doubt hesitation about the future of their children and family will i see my children settle in their life happily will i see the prosperity of my family will god allow me to settle or to see the grandchildren of my family bible says Psalm 128 towards 5 you will see it Psalm 128 towards 5 says the Lord bless you from Zion the Lord bless you from Logos sanctuary may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem you will be witness in Jerusalem in summary and ends of the world Jerusalem is your family where you live together praise together there you will see the prosperity all the days of your life praise the lord, the lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah so those parents who are deeply worried about their children their future the prosperity of the family prestige of the family fame of the family if you have any doubt be online every day the lord gives you this promise in your lifetime you will see the prosperity of your children praise the lord praise the lord and wellness and welfare of your family and during the pandemic through this online ministry the families all over the world blessed today one sister told me i'm coming from us just to share a blessing during the pandemic there was no priest to come and bless our family everywhere in the world the same situation that time this logos ministry comes with the family blessing family prayer family blessing and blessing with the cross and blessing in the holy water and blessing in the oil and blessing in the salt so a newly constructed a house the stage by stage it is blessed where is that person who has come from us please stand up there and glorify the lord and she comes from us just to give this testimony during the pandemic how this online ministry received or brings blessing in her house how that construction of the house blessed stage by stage then how she and her family being blessed every day during this online ministry so logosians who are online or any time coming to this ministry daily the lord is giving you wonderful blessing clap our hands and praise and thank god thank you jesus thank praise you jesus sephania chapter 3 prophecy of sephania chapter 3 verse 15 says our god is always with us the lord has taken away the judgment against us he has turned away your enemies chasing your enemies away from you the king of israel O oh lord is in your midst our god is always with us emmanuel you shall fear disaster no more lift up your hands there is no promise in the bible that a disaster will come upon the believers Instead, you will overcome the disaster. That is a promise. And also, you may not see the disaster. There is no promise that the one who calls on the name of the Lord shall be perished. 
shall not be perished that is the promise Amen. so lift up your hands now and look to jesus our god is amidst us he is with us where he is he is with us what is doing chasing away all your enemies praise the lord praise and what is doing taking away all the disaster from you and he has turned away all the wrong judgment against you that is the promise sephania chapter 3 verse 15 says our god is with us and where he is now with his people around the world matthew 18 verse 20 says wherever two or three are gathered in my name logosians are gathered in the name of jesus right now i am there among them and sephania 315 says i will chase your enemies away from you now i bring a new judgment favorable judgment and you will see no disaster in your life there are 14 cancer patient expecting a disaster in their life a health difficulty in their life thinking that their life is going to finish i tell you one day you will die but not because of cancer praise the lord praise 14 lord. of you receive this guarantee from jesus from this pulpit when our time comes we will die but these 14 people who have fear in their heart because of their cancer that is diagnosed you will not die with a cancer that is going to be can healed thank you jesus Jesus. Today I have a testimony of Jonita from Mumbai. Her name is called out from this pulpit. And she heard that her heart disease is being healed. After hearing her name, Sistine Jonita from Mumbai. Jonita you are healed of your heart ailments. She is healed of her high palpitation, heart ailments. and rest of the problems in their heart so the lord has a plan for this online ministry those who are come here for you god has a plan jeremiah 29 11 i have a plan for you is a plan of welfare and wellness not a plan of disaster sephania 315 says you will not see a disaster jeremiah 29 11 says instead you will see welfare wellness this is a promise given by god almighty once again lift up your hands we are in the welfare plan of god almighty catechism book article 1 says why god has created you mother church says not to suffer but to share a blessed life with god almighty how god is blessed in the same way their ch- god's children his children are also going to share the blessedness of god what god has that you will inherit do you think that god is sick god is never sick that means healing is the plan of god to share with you god has no sickness in his body then if god doesn't have it how god will give it to you no one can give if he doesn't have it but devil has full of sickness full of worries and tensions and problems the devil can share with you what he has god doesn't have tension have you ever seen that heavenly father is so much of tensed or have you seen that jesus having high vp Oh, Holy Spirit is tired of flying and flying all over the world. Tiredness. God shares what He has. Devil shares what He has. We share what we have. Peter said, "We have no tiredness. We have no weakness. We have no silver. We have no gold. What we have that we are going to share with you." Acts chapter three six. I have no silver and gold. I have a name of Jesus. 
in that precious name i have no silver no gold what i have i give you in the name of jesus christ get up and walk what we have we have name of jesus what god has blessing anointing healing prosperity god is not poor our god is not poor he is owner of the whole world so he gives the share of his riches he is full of health a share of his health he is full of joy he gives a share of his joy be with god always worship him today's testimony number 4 cecil thomas giving a testimony from mumbai with a family problem he was looking to jesus within two weeks the assisting wife turned as the best wife now there is full of peace in the family joy in the family daily family prayer how many of you want to change the assisting partner as the best partner lift up your hands even two children small babies also lifting up their hands maybe their future partners were going to become best partners or maybe the best friends they expect lift up your hands the assisting is going to become the best in your life what you have that is going to become best that is a work of god if devil is working in you what is assisting in you it will become bad because devil shares what he has god shares what he has god is full of mercy and compassion god is full of mercy and compassion towards you psalm 23 verse 5 says throughout my life his mercy his compassion and uh, his anointing will overflow surely his mercy and compassion will overflow and verse 4 says psalm 23 verse 4 Though I walk through the valley of darkness I fear not I am not having the fear because he is guiding me comfort me God comforts me and the last words of Psalm 23 says surely mercy and compassion follow me throughout my life Psalm 23 verse 6 says hallelujah surely all of you may say together surely surely goodness goodness kindness kindness mercy of god mercy of god shall flow me shall flow me all through the days of my life all through the days of my life i shall dwell i shall in the house of the lord in the house of the lord my whole life my whole life so you will become logosians and you are logosians life long that means you are dwelling in the word of god logos means word of god you are in the word of god you will be in the word of god and you will be always with the word of god so now we make the sign of the cross on our body we are going to experience freedom from our enemies god is going to flee away all our enemies around us never you will see a disaster that you expect in your life as we heard we are going to see the prosperity of our family the children are going to get prosperity and you will see the prosperity of your family and god shares what he has 